Hi, I'm Billy. And I'm Shelly. I'm Dad. And today we're gonna teach you roundhouse kick, which is called mawashigiri. Take the right leg, step back. Pick your left hand up, right hand into jaw. Now you're gonna take your right leg, step forward. Step forward and turn that hip. Go back to position, let's try that again. I'm gonna step this way and show you. When you turn your hips, you wanna put your hips in position where you can fire that kick. Ready, step. See, I'm pushing that hip. Now pick up your left leg. Now kick out to the side, put it back, and go right back to position. So it's simple. Most people want to kick, they want to step sideways. When you say lateral movement, they want to step like this, and they want to do that. Don't do that. When I say move, pivot that hip, kick out to the side, and go right back to position. Ready? Let's try that. Hands rough, ready, step. Kick waist high, kick, and back down. Do it again, step. Keep those hands up, kick, and back down. One more time, step, and kick, and back down. I'm talking about when you throw a kick. Remember, a lot of people will say this. Step, pick your leg up, and then push it out to the side. Yes, you can do that. Remember, if I, I want to be able to teach your grandmother how to kick. And the way to do that is step simply like this. Turn your butt to the target, kick to the target, come right back to position. Sir. It's simple. Let's try it again. Ready? Sir. Step, kick, and go back. Do it again. Step. Nice roundhouse. Kick, and go back. Remember, breathe when you kick. Step and kick, and go back. One more time, step, and kick, and back. Good, just remember, anytime you kick, you're moving lateral. This is what we call lead leg kick. Make sure the foot is not like this. Make sure you're not kicking like that. You wanna make sure you turn that foot. Turn the hip to the target, kick the target, and go right back to position. Okay, that's my Washi Gary. That's the roundhouse kick. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you later. See you later.